guys, guess what time it is? It's Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors, and it is time for our pick 10. Yay! All right, so what we've got, I went ahead and I put my thing in here so I've got the right page. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Ah, uh, let's start. Doodle. All right. Uh, let's see. What are we going to doodle with? Let's use, you know what? Let's use a fine liner. Um, let's start in this quadacra. I cannot say it. Nickel Azo Gold. So we're going to doodle. What are we going to doodle? Let's doodle, I don't know, something. Come on. All right, so we are going to doodle. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing really well. I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in there. Uh, let's see. We are just going to just doodle. Right? I don't know what we're doing. We're just going to make some marks. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just doodling. <laughs> and I have to make it simpler because I do, I do, I do. I love how it does that. I don't, hang on, let me bring you down so you can see. See how it does that little tiny line? I love that. I think that's cool. All right, let me bring you back out. Hold on. Okay, a little bit more. All right, so that's what I'm doing. So we're doodling. Now, I know you guys um, have been doing my um, pick tens when Mary does her lives, and I think it's wonderful. I enjoy watching you do it. Um, it's great because I get to sit back and eat some popcorn and relax <laughs> while you guys are all busy. So, um, yeah, it's fun. I'm just going to do some more of my doot doot doots here. And you know, when you're, when you're doing your pick tens, just have fun. That's really all that matters. It's not about the final finished product. It's not about, oh, does everything match? It's not about that. Just have fun and enjoy. So there we go. There's number one, which is doodle. I'm going to move this over here. Let's see. Here we go. Number two is, let's try this one. What is it? Spray ink on a mat. Water it drown, water it down, and drag my page through it. Well, in order to do that, spray ink on a mat. All right, so in order to do that, first thing I'm going to have to do is dry this. So let me dry this, and I'll be right back. So here we go. I got out a couple different inks here. Um, these are both um, Heidi Swaps. One is mustard, and the other is citron. Now, I'm not sure if these will even spray. Oh, they will. Well, for a second. There we go. So I'm just going to spray them on my mat. And then, where's my water bottle? <laughs> water them down. And then it said to drag my page through it, right? So here we go. Let's see, which way do I want to drag it? I'm just going to put it on it and drag. Well, that's interesting. Look at that. Huh. Let's drag it the other way, too. Why not? There we go. All right. Now, before I... I'm not just going to wipe this away. I'm just going to take some iCADs that I have sitting here. Um, an iCAD, if you're not, not aware, is a index card. So I'm just going to take a couple of these. Um, these have already been covered in um, scraps. But, you know, let's use up that ink. Why not? Might as well. All right. 
right, so I'll just set those out of the way. So, we sprayed some ink on our mat, we watered it down, and we run our page through it. And it even got a cat hair. Because my Abadu has been sitting on my desk this afternoon. So I apologize, guys. She's a little stinker. She comes in, just plops her butt down, decides, you know, all right, I'm done arting for the day. I didn't realize there was this many cat, much cat hair on my desk. Okay, so now I know i got to get that cleaned up. Come on. Yuck. You guys probably can't see these, but I can, and I, well, yeah. Aren't they little stinkers? They just love to come in and do whatever. You know what? I like this idea. Kind of stir up some texture in there, I guess. All right. So, let's dry this up. Actually, before we dry this up, let's look at number three. That was number two. Spray ink on the mat, water it down, and drag my page through. All right, so number three is cover my page with napkins. Huh, I haven't gotten napkins out in quite a while, so let me grab my napkins and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so um, what I did is I went, I have this box here. Um, many, many years ago, um, look at this, this is crazy. When we were doing swaps, um, we did a bunch of napkin swaps. So I put it all together and I put my swap napkins on my box. And every now and then I'll, I'll go in there and I'll find something which I think is really cool and pull it out. Now I like this because I like the colors, but I don't want, I don't want a page full of birds, of uh, butterflies. So then I thought about this because this has a lot of white space to it. But I thought, hmm, I don't know. It's not, it's not talking to me. So we're going to put that back. So then I found this one and I thought, ooh, to me it just, it pops. Now some people are going to say, oh my God, that's ugly. What am I going to do with it? Well, let's figure it out. <laughs> That's why we take chances and risks, and that's why we play, right? Is to figure it out. So we're gonna see how this does, because we still have seven more prompts, and I'm just praying that we pull one that says to, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, look at that. <gasps> uh -huh. Guess what? Should I be bold? Or should I be subtle? Hmm. I'm not really a subtle person, so let's just be bold. Yeah, let's be bold. So let's go ahead. Where's my medium? Oops, right here. Come on, sit there. Um, we're gonna take some matte medium. We're gonna put this baby down. Now, I don't use napkins a lot, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's because you have to be really careful with them. And, oops. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't have the patience sometimes with them. And sometimes I'm a lot rougher on my journals and they end up, it ends up having to, um, I end up tearing them. So that's one of the reasons that I don't do too well with napkins. So I'm gonna try very hard not to tear this one. I'm not gonna guarantee anything. But we're going to put this one down. And this that I'm using, um, this glue, is just the matte medium. Just regular. It's either Liquitex or Golden. I don't know. Just plain old matte medium. And see, here I go. I want to start overworking this. So I have to just put it down and let it be. All right. So that's on. What's next? There's my ink. Get that out of the way water bottle okay so we are on number four I gotta find my sticks hopefully that'll dry um, while we're chit-chatting extra 
glue there. All right, here we go, number four. And I did add some really funky um, things in here, but because there's so many, I don't know how often we'll get them. <laughs> fling paint! <laughs> oh, I get the fling paint. Um, hmm. Fling paint. Well, the paint that I want to fling on this is white. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to take a palette. I'm going to take some white, just um, ar acrylic, artist Reeves acrylic, fine artist paint. This is titanium white. Uh, I don't need that much, but that's okay. I'm going to take my water bottle. I'm actually just going to take a little bit of this. Let me see which one will work better. This one I think will work better. I'm going to take some water over here. And I'm going to bring some of this paint over here and just put it in the water a little bit more. And we're just going to, I know it's not flinging really. We could do this. Fling, fling, fling. Oh, I got it all. <laughs> I have it all over up there. <laughs> fling, fling. All right, we flinged paint. <laughs> Oh, there you go. We're flinging. We're still flinging. <laughs> I love doing these. We're flinging and we're blotting. <laughs> All right, we flinged some paint. Should I fling some more? Why not? Let's fling some more. Here we go, we got more paint, we're gonna fling it. I am making a mess. But you know what, I don't care. Yay! All right, we flung paint. And it's all over everything. But that's all right. All right, what's next? Eventually we're gonna have to dry this. I wonder if I should let it run. Let's let it run. go fling and flung all right so number four was fling paint I'll oh, put this um, that was number four let's see what number five is number five is this one splatter now wait a minute I just splattered so you know what we'll splatter some ink but first um, I gotta get my inks we're going to splatter ink. What color should we do? Um, let's do some dark blue. Yeah, let's do some bar dark blue. We're just going to splatter it, huh? Splatter. Hmm. I gotta find something to put some of this in. I'll be right back. I decided not to put something in it, but what I did is I've got these little spatulas that my friend Carla uh, sent me the link to them, and they're great to use to um, do resin. But what I figured I would do, I'm just gonna, well, maybe. Let's set you here. Come on, sit up. We're gonna put some ink on them. And I'm going to splatter. Oops. I even got ink on the other page. Doo -doo. All right. We got ink all over the place. All over the place. All right. I don't want to put a whole lot on there. And I am going to take this spot up. All right, so we splattered, right? 
this is just becoming one heck of a mess. But that's okay. We're having fun. And we splattered. All right, let's see what's next. Oof, what a mess. <laughs> warning, warning. Put out, a, put out a plastic mat before you do a pick 10 this month. It's crazy. All right, number one, two, three, four, five, six is old book pages. I like old book pages. And actually, I have a couple right here. Oh, no, 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 no right here. Look at this. I found this in a thrift store quite a while ago. Um, or actually, no, not a thrift store, an antique store. And I can't remember what I paid, maybe a buck for it, if that. And look at how, this is an old, old Sears and Roebuck catalog. And let's see if there's a date on this. Fall? No, I can't be right. 1970. So, I am going to use some of these old book pages. Let's see what I want. Oh, we could use a gentleman. Hey, let's do a gentleman. We're going to take that guy. I wonder if there's a lady in here. Let's see if we can find a lady real quick. That's what, no, that's a guy. And ladies are stuck in the back. We're stuck in the bag, ladies. With the with the pipes, the the what do you call them? Um, tobacco pipes. No, I don't like that. Don't really want us in our jammies. Hmm. Now oh, here's the ladies. I just want a bigger lady. All right, no lady today. Hmm. No lady. Whew. That smells musty. All right, so we're going to take this old book page, and I'm just going to tear around this guy. And he's going to go on this page. Isn't he cool? Style number 10. He is style number 10. I'm even going to leave his style on there. Now, before I put him down, I do have to dry this up. So let me do that. You guys take some dry time, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. I just wanted to let you know... Um, I wasn't liking how that ink was just sitting there, so I took and added, just sprayed some water on it to kind of move it around a little bit. So um, I just want to let you guys know so that when you come back and say, hey, what happened to your page? That's what I did. So now I'm going to try to dry up all this water. So I'll be back. So I got that pretty well dry. They're still a little bit messed up, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Let me take, let's get some glue. We're just going to use a glue stick on this. I can't see using matte medium. And we're going to glue our book page, our old book page, which is our, our man here. Right there. He looks distinguished, doesn't he? He does, he does. My distinguished old gentleman. All right. Now, I'm not going to do anything more to them because I don't know what's going to happen. So let's see what's next. Three, six. We have four more to go. Seven is use fluid acrylic paint. Hmm. Fluid acrylic. I wonder. Um, let me. I got to move this stuff away. My stuff's in the way. I'm running out of room, guys. Uh, fluid acrylic. I think I'm gonna take some magenta, and this is um this is uh, da 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 golden uh, fluid acrylics in a fine liner. So I'm just going to ooh, well I was going to. Now I guess I'm gonna do it that way. Just 
kind of put a kind of like a border around him. I was gonna use it in the fine liner fashion, but apparently the paint had other plans, which is all good. We'll get rid of his style 10 down there. All right, and I'm just gonna put a little maybe around the edges. Just to kind of blend it all in, why not? A little bit up here. And I'll put a little bit more down here. Okay, there's my fluid acrylic paints, which I like it, I like it. He's coming out different. Okay, so we use golden primary, or golden uh, primary magenta. Okay, now we need another one. Color all the background your choice. Hmm. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get out some white and I'm going to work on my background. I just have to get some of this red off my finger first because I'm going to be using the white and I'll probably use it with my finger. So we're going to color the background my choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take gesso, some white gesso. I'm going to take the baby wipe and we're just going to take a little bit of gesso and I'm just going to work on it. Just kind of blending it here and there. That way I don't have to cover it all up, but I can, you know, give it a little bit of white, right? It says my choice. So my choice means I don't have to cover it all up. I can just blend where I feel like it. <laughs> That's how I'm interpreting that prompt. My choice. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, let's do a little bit on this side. Got to do something with this yellow over here. I'll choose some of this blue and bring it down. There we go. Do something with our red. Kind of blend it in a little bit. And now I want to take this around him. Just kind of spread it out a little. We don't need him to be all... Right? It looks like he's a mass murderer with all that red. There, we brought some of that out of him. Let's take some of this blue. Bring it back down here. I kind of like him. And I'm also going to take a little bit of color that I have on here and just kind of tone down some of that newspapery looking color. Now he looks kind of dark to you guys, but from where I'm sitting, he looks pretty cool. All right, so we did that with our gesso. We we colored all the background, right? So basically, I just blended the background. That works. All right, here we go. Let's see what's next. And we've got this one. Stamp over a stencil. All right, I can do that, but first I'm going to dry this up because right now it's pretty wet. So let's dry it and we'll be back. So I pulled out a stencil. Now this stencil is really, really thin. I don't even know who the maker. Oh, can you see that? You can't even see that stencil. I don't even know who the maker is. There's no marks on it whatsoever. Um, I don't know what I can put it against so you guys can see it. There you go. Um, right there. So uh, when I do this stamp over the stencil, I always make sure that it's a really thin stamp stencil. And I also try to make sure that it's a quite thick stamp, meaning, you know, it's got, let's see, can you see how it's raised? Because if not, you're basically stamping on the stencil. And I want to stamp over the stencil or in the stencil. So I always try to make sure it's something that would be able to get down into the stencil. Okay, so that's just my little tip for that. Um, 
I got my stamps here. I just have a black archival because I don't think any other color is really going to show on this at this point. So, and I don't have anything underneath, um, so I'm just going to be using my hand if I have to, uh, to put underneath here to stamp on. So, let's go ahead and get this party started. So, I'm just going to juice up my stamp here. I think I'm going to have to re-ink re this pad because it's getting awful light. Okay, so we're going to stamp over our stencil. So basically what I'm doing is trying to stamp within the stencil. Let's see how it works. Interesting. <laughs> Not really, but hey, <laughs> we'll pretend it was. I think there's more stamp on the stencil. Oh, let's do this. Um, it's probably already dry by now, but next time I'll turn it over quicker. Yeah, it's dry by now. But... Um, yeah, we're just going to stamp in our stencil. That's what we're supposed to do, right? Yeah, that's not working so well. So let's try something different. I'm just going to stamp the rest of this ink out on here. So that stamp just didn't, let me try, when I say stamp on a stencil, you know what? Ba, ba, ba. I think we might end up sponging on our stencil. Um, just trying to find, I don't know as I have really any, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I found it, I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use this as a stamp, so guess what? We're going to stamp on this over the stencil. We can do this. I know this will work because I have more control over the, the stamping portion of it. So we're going to do this. Yeah, that's better. So we're just stamping over our stencil. Not really doing a whole lot, but hey, we're trying, right? That's all that matters. We're having fun. We're playing. We're making black marks on my page. I guess that works. <laughs> I'll just finish cleaning off this. What a mess. All right, so we did our... <laughs> I gotta work on that technique. I definitely have to work on that technique. All right, so we stamped over our st stencil. <clears throat> Pardon me, I can't talk. I need a drink. Hold on. My throat got really dry there for a second. Okay, so we stamped over our stencil, right? So that should be nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Last but not least, we are going to what's this one? add buttons. Hmm. We're going to add buttons. All right, let me. I actually moved my buttons, I moved them to the not the other side of the room, but behind me. So let me get my buttons. First, I'm going to put my stencil away. You guys can work on, you know, finish stamping your stencil and getting your buttons. Oh, while I put this stuff away. Okay. All right. I need my buttons. You know, I'd really like to have some flat, old-looking buttons. So that's what I'm looking for right now. I have some gold buttons, but they're all quite large. Uh, da -da -da -da. This desk. this desk is a mess over here. Glad you guys can't see it. Dots, metals. I don't think I have any buttons in there. Hmm. Buttons. You know what? These are actually buttons. These things here. 
But I want to see if I have something that... That's like a flat button. Those are kind of cool. Buttons. Too big. I have got so much of this stuff, guys. It's crazy. Just, you know, I used to make these little dolls, and I always did all this kind of embellishments all over them. And I just have so much of it. <laughs> There's a little gecko. Um, I have so much of it. I just, I really need to do some more canvases and just use it up. That's pretty. So, but for now, I'm just looking for different buttons. Wish I had a small black button to put on his head. How about a key? No. No key. <laughs> Take the button. Alright, it looks like I'm just going to put four buttons on the corners because unless I sit here and dig for an hour, um, I'm not, that's a rock. I'm not seeing anything right off the top of my head that I want to use, um, for a button. Hmm. All right, so let's take some tacky glue. We're just going to put our buttons on. So this this page has actually been kind of simple, um, other than my stamping through a stencil, <laughs> which, like I said, I'm going to have to work on that technique. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'm sure Mary will play this for you, and you guys will play along, and, and it's, it's hilarious because I love listening to Mary talk to me while she's doing it. I just think it's great. So, um, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And, as always, thanks so much for watching. Happy creating, and I will talk to you next month. Have a great day. Bye.